Um, so what would you like to get out of this? <laughs> what would you like to get out of this? Okay, I see. Okay, you are, yes, you're very photogenic. We know that. Uh-huh. We're gonna, yes, we're gonna do this with you. Of course we are. This is what it's all about. <laughs> well, what would you like to get out of this? Um, so every time I would go to like ask him if he would look after me, it was always like an instant yes. But then there was always like this little awareness mm -hmm. in the back of my brain going, eh, will he, will he not? Mm -hmm. And I get now that that was totally that other being mm -hmm. that was in his body. Right. Being like, careful. Yeah. Watch what you do. Yeah. Because as soon as I say, then he's going to do what I say instead of what you say. Whoa. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Cool. All right. So different horrors, different. Yeah. So let's do it. Cool. Okay. So, um, so part of this is really like trusting that a horse will take care of you. And um, that's what we are going to do here now is just trusting him, you know. But the very first thing actually always, always, always that you want to ask a horse that you're working with is, will you take care of me? And will you do this exercise? Well, it's not really an exercise, but will you do this together with us? You know, will you take care of me? Will you take care of Ashley? Will you take care of this? And even though like he just shook his head, it's like, don't take this so literal. It's not that shaking a head will be a no or, sh or doing this will be a yes. It's really more like the energy that comes up. <coughs> like, are you willing to perceive the energy that comes up? Not so much necessarily exactly the body usage, but sometimes it can be that. Some horses will literally be like, uh-huh, or mm-mm. But him shaking his head was not a no. <laughs> so, um, and the yawning is also him really being present and releasing energy and just being with us. So I, I like that he has been still processing a lot for himself too. Uh, we have to really say he just really only started being alone in his body for the last 24 hours really. So it's been very, very recent that he got rid of this other energy in his body and has been interested in people before that he would never would never be curious enough to even check out a person in that same way that he does now so we're really we're really dealing also with him finding a different way of being in the world which is really cool i like it so before you get up there maybe just again like have a check in with him and just be like hey hi how's it going <laughs> will you take care of me will you take care of me <laughs> <laughs> he's like hurry up already <laughs> exactly <laughs> it's really yeah cool so what's different about it i actually can perceive him cool yeah awesome and is it also for him a similar thing like he can perceive you in a different way now yeah um because he's also really processing right now, sort of like, oh, hi. It's also different for him. So again, this is the first time since um, since he let go of that energy that, uh, that somebody's sitting on him. So it's a very different, I'm sure it's a very different sense for him as well. It's very different for me. Yeah. <laughs> And like perceiving how much more he's willing to have my back. Like he was always willing to have my back before. Yeah. But now it's it's way greater. Like it's like he knew there was excitement there, but the minute I got on his back, he's like, "Okay, I I've got you." Yeah. And and I mean the one thing about him is that he has never tried to be a horse that would give you a lot of difficulty in that way so he's not a horse that was difficult to handle or anything like that even though sometimes when a horse has another energy in there with them that can really be the case that they're really difficult all the way around yeah he was hard to catch he was sort of standoffish and he had his own space but he wasn't like mean or anything like that and so I, I would have never chose this like 
getting on him bareback was <laughs> not fun for me because <laughs> there that that trust was never there. Cool. And there's way more ease right now. Like, yep. I'm like, oh, I can trust my body to be in the right, you know, to have my back, and I can also trust his body to have my back. Yep. Cool. So pull energy from the earth through his feet, through your body, out the top of your head, and pull more, and more, and more, and all of this excitement just actually expanded out in all directions. Oh, there. Yeah. So, okay, and allow your body to have that peace that it truly be. All right. <laughs> He's like, lady, I got you. I got you. What are you doing? <gasps> so everything that is, yeah. we're just trying on created. Times yeah. a gazillion, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And if you need to hold my hand or Justin's hand too, like whatever makes this easier for you to just lean back as well. Okay. Cool. So relax your body. <laughs> he's gotcha. He's just adjusting. Again? Yes, he's adjusting a little bit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Amazing. What, yay. Like, I didn't even know that that was possible because I've never let myself actually go there. Cool. Because I don't trust myself. Awesome. So, if I don't, like, for me to actually, like, even choose, like, thank you for pocking and potting me because I was like, uh uh, I'm not doing this. And then the pulling the energy and the expand, expanding, like, that was. And then when I actually did it after while he was backing up, I was like, oh, like I my body's got my back and he's got my back. And the universe has my back. <laughs> like yes. I didn't even know that that was possible. <laughs> oh. Awesome. And I've literally been fucking myself over thinking that I can't trust myself. Yeah. And I can't. The universe doesn't have my back. My horse doesn't have my back. Yep. In actuality, it's me. <laughs> well, is it only you? Or is it really like what all you were aware of without actually having words for it? Yes. You know, and in a way you've always been aware that you couldn't, you, you knew you couldn't connect with him, but you didn't know why. You assumed it was your fault and there wasn't any room for you in this, this relationship because he was already occupied. <laughs> literally and so in a way it's like making yourself wrong for that yeah you know, of course you don't trust yourself in that then but now that you actually also know like hey this actually had nothing to do changed with me. me changed everything absolutely everything yeah like there isn't a thing like literally i was saying to you this morning like walking by a mirror like i second guessed it, like this creation yeah and walking by a mirror, I'm like, hey. <laughs> awesome. So, like, where I thought you're just supposed to judge you and judge your body and everything. And like Gary Douglas says, everything he's learned, he's learned from a horse. And, yeah. 
How does it get better? So cool. How does it get better? So grateful for these tools. So grateful. Thank you, Susie. Well, thank you. thank you for coming to Alberta. (laughs) Yes. You're welcome. (laughs) And thank you, my friend, for letting this go. Yeah. You made an interesting and amazing choice. And look where your life is going now. He's like, whew, I have, yeah. (laughs) He's like, who's that? (laughs) 